Hi guys, uh, today I'm with Kevin from Catch and Cook California and we're going spear fishing. This will be my first free diving spear fishing experience and then I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shop to get uh, the rental equipment. I don't want it to be like cold, you know, but I, <coughs> yeah. I, I feel you. Yeah. Super safe even though it's still a bit cover. Yeah. Okay, um. so. They got me a set here. I'm I'm gonna try it on, see if it fit. That's good. Hi, Mochi. Ooh, Pr pretty little dog. Yo. Okay, time to go down. Here we are. So we're gonna go ahead and get suit up and uh, get ready to go in the water. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good, let's go. This layer underneath his collar and that way it's gonna be completely sealed in. The pole spear will teach you to be a way better undersea hunter. Dive down, learn how to use structure. It's, it's a combination between fishing and hunting. So, for my, my goal today is to catch, or to shot one striped perch. was a lot harder than I expected it to be. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick to the land first and then I'll do some forging near the shore here, see what I can find. But yeah, Kevin's still out there. He's gonna try to shoot a fish or two. Uh, yeah. See your trips down here. Yo. The sea urchin right here. Hmm. Oh yeah. Let's see if it's any good.
looks pretty good. Yeah? Look at that. Cluster of purple sea urchins. Look at this one. Oh, this one's eating the seaweed. Look, it's pretty cool. Take some seaweed as well. I'm gonna cook them in the hot pot. This one's good. Orange color uh, turban snails. Limpet. A proper way to take limpet is using your hand. Here's what I found. Perch baby. So Kevin shot a, this shot a big female pregnant striped perch and then there's baby inside and blanch them. Hello Mochi. Hey. Good girl. Good girl. Hmm. Wait. Are you scared that they left? Is that why? Oh. Yeah, careful. Come over here. Come over here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Okay, don't worry, they'll come back. I think it's good now. It's lunch enough. Now how do I get out? This is the hard part. By blanching the seaweed you are you're actually um, washing the slimes off. Once all the seaweed turns kinda light green, then it's good to um, sip them out. Got all the turban snails cracked and then for the limpets I'm gonna cut the gut off. Can I use that stove? Yeah. Perfect. Um, camera was not recording, but I added these um, uh, Hapa seasoning soup base into here. This thing looks very potent, but it smells really good already.
the noodles ready. Yeah, we gotta get the noodles. Your fans, it's really good. <laughs> All right, let's do a little fish. Mm. All right, I'm going for it then. So a snail, it's a tiny little piece right now, but it's got a nice texture to it. Yeah. Makes the soup flavorful. All that chili. Thank <laughs> you. 